Well, here we are again in Kingston. It's uh, Thursday, it's the 25th of February and beams 13 and 14 arrived today in the sunshine. Hasn't always been sunshine this month. We're going to take a look at February's progress in the third crossing and I'm going to make two videos this time. One is going to include speeded up lifts and placement of the girders. The other one will be the full length edition. So you'll be able to choose which you want to watch. I know people have been very interested in how the girders are delivered, how they're placed and uh, what level of accuracy are involved. So here we go, February 2021. There are two themes to this February update. They are girders and weather. During this month, a total of 14 steel reinforced concrete girders have arrived. They come from Utopia, Ontario, 350 kilometers away, the home base for Decast Limited, the company that manufactures them. Weighing some 80 metric tons each, and measuring at least 48 metres, or 170 feet. The combination rigs that transport them are nearly 200 feet long and use steerable rear dollies to carry the end of each girder. Ironically, the greatest challenge that Jim and Mick, the regular drivers, face is negotiating the turn from Sir John A onto the last straightaway along John Counter Boulevard. Arriving at the rate of four every week, as two pairs, it will be October before the last girders arrive. Despite two postponements for weather this month, the schedule has been maintained. Which brings us to this month's second theme, weather. Freezing temperatures and occasional heavy snowfalls this month have had little effect on the project's progress. However, high winds make it impossible for the most expert operator to maintain precise control over the placement of the girders that is an absolute priority. On at least two occasions this month, the installation of girder pairs, which usually occurs early on the morning following a delivery, had to be delayed. There's only sufficient space in the parking areas for two girders at a time. Still on their transporters, the girders are moved down onto the causeway. The cranes, Bridget and Fridget, that lift them have to move aside to allow passage. Then they move back into lift position, cables are attached, the restraints on the transporter are released, and the lift begins. Initially, the girders are raised directly upward, over the causeway and well clear of the piers. They are then moved across, but well clear of the girders already in place. Then they are delicately manoeuvred up to their neighbour and lowered with great precision. Understandably, considerable care is taken over the final few centimetres. The degree of control and the accuracy achieved by the two crane operators is amazing. The whole operation takes somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour for each girder. All 14 girders placed so far are at the west end of the crossing, but activity at the east end has continued apace too. The first of the steel sections that will make up the arched portions of the bridge, over and around the navigation channel, have begun to arrive. Work is also continuing to complete the piers close to the east end and will likely carry on for a few more weeks. Conditions for concrete curing have been less than ideal this month, the highly visible red blankets around many of the piers protect them from the elements. They also contain warm air blown in by compressors and provide some insulation that assists the curing process. It may have gone largely unnoticed, 
but the process of removing the material that allowed access to the piers during the pile driving phase is well advanced. It has been gradual, but constant. The causeway itself will remain until the bridge is almost complete. At that point, construction equipment will use the new crossing itself while completing the final phases of preparation for opening. March is almost upon us, and there's evidence of better weather and warmer temperatures ahead. It's become very clear this month that the bridge is quickly taking shape, and that will be more apparent with every passing week. Well, that's it for February. I uh, understand that March is supposed to come in like a lion and go out like a lamb. February's been a little bit that way too. Don't forget, if you like these videos, please click the like and subscribe to the channel in order to encourage me to do more and continue to see progress on Kingston's third crossing.